Hey guys, Tails here, back with another video. I am currently in Summer Dream Island because I just stumbled across this world while doing some world hopping and oh my god, it's pretty and I want to do a video about it. So here we are in this world. You start off in this kind of like really weird rusted looking cart, which is interesting. It's one of those worlds where the vigils are just going crazy. Like, look at the cool little portal thing they got going on over there. There's a lighthouse, a silhouette in the distance, a boat. Everything's shiny and pretty and there's bubbles everywhere. And it just makes me feel all kinds of happy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's all you kind of really want from a world at the end of the day is just make you feel happy. Can I walk on the water? I can. Very fancy. Anyway, let's get out of the dock area. Um, oh good, I'm in my great full body VR run again. Fantastic. <laughs> I've done some pretty standstill videos lately and I kind of forgot that was a thing. Over here we have a cute little boat. There's also a, th a thing on here that's telling me to double trigger for a menu. So... If I do that, I can... There's an avatar light, chairs, particle. It's like... Your, your little, oh, it's like your little portable menu, I guess, but looking around here, obviously I believe this is obviously kind of a PC world, you can probably just tell by looking at it. And every, the fact that there's fireworks going off and everything, ooh, there's a little, a nice little viewing platform here, like, just look around, look at all the photo ops here, this is like, oh god, this is like my dream for Twitter right here, I'm gonna go probably crazy in this world taking some pictures there's <laughs> everywhere you look there's something that screams i'm in my own weird anime right now like there's a whole uh bath house up here you can chill in the bath house if you so desire um it's surprisingly even though there's like misty here and like they the fog if there's like vr chat fog usually it lags me quite a bit but it's not too bad in this world I'm recognizing this prefab from a different world as I run through this bathhouse here. Making sure I'm not missing anything. There's like little bug thing, bug deterrent things over there. Got a whole walkway up here. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> I'm so glad I found this world today. Like, oh, there's so much going on. You can interact with the crepes and, uh, you know, bring, bring your girlfriend here. And you guys can hit up the booths. They got prizes here that I don't I can't actually interact with these surprisingly um is it prizes or is it cotton candy it's cotton candy I'm so smart like oh my god please <laughs> the cotton candy booth uh you can buy a bag um I assume they have fish in them oh yeah you can fish well you would be able to fish if it was functional but alas it is not Ooh, there's a whole bunch of masks here superhero style i'm not gonna grab any of those because i don't think those will suit any of my aesthetic really the main view for me and the main draw is this just turning around and seeing very pretty sky explosions and bubbles i think that's what's got me like nerding out the most get some shaved ice for all your shaved ice needs and I don't know why there's like three straws just standing here and I was wondering if I could grab them. Apparently not. They might just be here to defy all gravity. I mean, VR chat. The, the laws of physics do not apply. A little shooting gallery here. I don't know. It, I doubt it. Yeah, it, it's not functional. But it's here. Um, oh, and the little corks for your guns. Okay, okay. What else have we got going on here? Various... You can pick up a tray, <laughs> like various Japanese foods, the dumplings and stuff. You can't grab individual ones, you just get the tray. You get dumpling tray. <laughs> it's your giant anime squid for all your uh, interesting female moments needs when it comes to the animes. I've seen this before, it's a balloon thing, but I kind of forgot what it is. But I've seen it before and I know what it is. I've seen it in animes. I'm not completely uncultured. And you can get some some uh, crystallized candy apples if you so desire. Oh wow, those are some giant apples. Oh my god. But anyway, moving swiftly on past all the cool stuff down to the docks. Um, you got more just insane visuals and scenery going. Like I love these kind of worlds that are like dream-esque. 
because these are like i the worlds that i want to show off more because they're so creative and there's like i said there's so much going on there's like half a bridge in there why is there half a bridge in there the world may never know i feel like if i was to go run across the water i'm sure i could get on this boat over here i'm actually gonna see if i can and kind of just reverse up a bit so you can see the boat i want to see if i can run up and jump on it again like, just imagine the photo ops, guys. The photo ops. Like, this world was made for uh, all your Twitter photo needs. The boat does have colliders, but... Oh, oh, here's the way on. We can get on the boat. Nice. I mean, it's not exactly the prettiest boat because there's uh, rust all over it. But it's here. It's a boat. You can have your edgy boat photos. I'm trying to see if I can get up to the top of the- there it is. I have found stairs. I have achieved stairs. And I apparently have to jump up. I don't think I can make it up there, but if I had the desire to, I would make it on the top there. And, you know, another viewing pa platform for the fireworks right there for you guys. I'm just gonna completely break immersion further. Oh, look, there's a little radio tower over there on this side. I want to see, I doubt I can go through the portal looking things at all, but I'm still going to try. There's a very aesthetic broken sign here for all your aesthetic broken signs needs. There's nothing on the broken sign. See, look, now I'm over here. I'm probably going to have to uh, run over to that lighthouse. You know, we got to explore. That's why we're here. Check everything out. Oh, look, the tracks just kind of end over here. We're almost at the giant portal. God, this world is pretty. <laughs> and I'm so thankful that it's not pretty and completely killing me, because that's usually the combo we go for. Okay, yeah. No, it's just a cool particle effect. I figured, but I wanted to do it anyway. I wanted to see what state is this lighthouse in as the majestical, beautiful fireworks just go off around me. I have more uh, rusted-out lighthouse-ness. Everything in this world is rusted. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly detailed enough for pictures anyway, but, you know, the fact that I can actually run over to it is a thing. Didn't think I'd be able to do that. Like, look at, look at that doorway. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try, but I doubt I can. Uh, the way I found this world is I stumbled into, uh, just a world that was, uh, updated and... It led me to a, like, someone posted a world about a group or something, and then it led me to a world where they had a world full of pictures, and they had underneath the pictures, the photographs, the lists of the worlds they were in when they took them, and I'm so glad that was there, because I would not have seen this world otherwise. See, look at this. Perfect, perfect photo op right here. This is, <laughs> I'm going to be having some fun. My goodness. I don't think there's really anything on here, but... For the sake of exploration, um, we're gonna we're gonna explore. I didn't really explore very far because there wasn't much more to explore. All right, once again, hit that respawn button. This video is gonna be on the shorter side. I've been doing a lot of longer videos lately, so low key, it'd be kind of nice to have the shorter video just showing off a really cool world. You know, take a little break to take a little breather. I didn't run up this side of the map. Uh, I just opened this side with the bathhouse and stuff. So let's walk up here. You got another cool little archway over here. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, there's the radio tower thing I pointed out, and over here we have a nice, cute little campsite that I didn't even see yet. Like, I had already run through most of this world, and then I turned off VR chat. Ooh, I can do fireworks. And then I turned off VR chat, and then I turned it back on, and I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's do a video. Let's, let's do a video. See that cute little, cute little fireworks for even more fireworks, adding to your giant fireworks. Also, the giant fireworks are not that laggy. Very well optimized. If you want to have a barbecue, that you've got all your barbecue utensil needs here cute little campsite again i well i'm not really seeing any kind of mirror there probably is one but to be fair i haven't been looking for it and it was probably on that little portable menu thing that i didn't really look at like honestly i'm not even i don't even care i'm not, <laughs> I'm not looking it's like one of those it's it happened guys it's rare but it happened it's one of those worlds where i'm not looking for the mirror but if you guys are looking for some amazing world to take some really cool photographs like 
<laughs> this is it. Like, can you imagine this world populated with people? It would be laggy as all heck. But damn, I feel like I could like really get lost in this world and stand here for hours if I didn't know that running around here in VR for too long would absolutely make me want to fall over and die. But honestly, for the sake of going around and snapping some photos, definitely. And I'm actually back in full body this time, so if I, if I can find the will, I'm going to take some more pictures and put them on my Twitter. I actually really enjoy uh, photo ops and taking pictures of my avatars. A lot of people on VR chat do. And finding worlds like this to be able to take like really nice pictures. Like I've always been all about pho like photography and stuff. I haven't been like into it, into it. But like I was the kid, we're on vacation and back in the olden times when we had like a little actual camera that wasn't our cell phone. And I'd be running around like taking all these like epic ass angles and being like, yes, beautiful pictures and like zooming in on stuff and like I really enjoyed taking photographs and then you know I was just the kid stuck with a bunch of photographs and then I most of the time never really went back and looked at them maybe like once or twice but I'm not gonna brag or anything they were like pretty good for like a 10 year old 14 year old pictures and everything like oh my god but anyway you know just being able to put that up again because you know it's not like it's something I just kind of grew out of because I, I don't know, maybe I lost the intrigue for the beauty of nature or I just kind of realized, hey, um, I'm taking all these pictures and they're just, um, will I ever look at them again except when I'm like 80 and I'm like, oh god, I remember seeing that ladybug when I was like 14. <laughs> I mean, pictures in real life are important, but I think for me right now where I'm at, taking pictures in VR chat is a lot more fun. So having worlds like this where I can come to and just take some fun little pictures is so great. I'm always on the hunt for worlds like this creative different worlds like this too like i love exploring the worlds where they're like themed and everything but a world like this where it just completely throws you off and stuff is happening everywhere and there's so many different areas of scenery in one confined space <laughs> it's just the next level for me and uh Definitely the kind of video that's the, definitely the kind of world that's gonna make me want to grab my camera and record it like Props to whoever made this world very cute world very pretty I hope you guys enjoyed having a quick run around with this world with me if you haven't checked it out already Go ahead and do so obviously I highly recommend it You've heard my praise throughout this whole video and how pretty I think everything looks uh, No, when I make these videos too is uh, sometimes the beauty of the worlds I cover does not fully translate over to video or to actually being here in VR. Like, you have to actually go to these worlds and experience them. Like, I can show you the experience, but if you want the experience on top of the experience, like, go to the world yourself. Check it out. Give it a quick look around and just be amazed. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, because as you all know, it really, really helps out my channel. And I'm baby YouTuber, and I need all the help I can get. So would really appreciate all the support, likes, and comments, and all that stuff. I love reading through them, too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good boy. Tell me your intentions